Hello, my name is Chris Kovach, and I am the Regional Sales Consultant in Northeastern Florida for Toby Dynabox. Today what we're going to discuss is what options you have to quickly modify or edit your homepage. So right now, as you can see, we are on a text communicator homepage, but I've had many of customers ask me, what can I move, what can I change, does any of this, can I make it look any different, can I personalize it? And the answer is yes, you can. So there's a couple ways of doing this. To get into edit our homepage, we have a couple options. On the homepage itself in the text communicator, we have an edit homepage button. So this has access for the user to edit their own homepage or for a caregiver to do it as well. If you're on a different homepage that doesn't have the edit homepage button, you can hit the third button on the left hand side of your device, the one with the three dots, it will bring up the quick menu guide, or you can hold and touch on the screen uh, in the same location for a second, and it will bring up the quick menu guide as well. So you can get to uh, edit homepage from here as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit our homepage. We're going to click on that button, and it'll give you an example of what your homepage looks like now. We have a couple options within this uh, edit homepage function. We can add or remove page sets. So just as when we did the initial setup, there may be things within text communication that we don't have on our homepage now that we would like to add, or maybe we're with uh, a customer or a loved one who could benefit from symbol communication as well. Uh, what's great about Communicator 5 is you're not stuck in any of these three categories. You can pull tools from any of the categories and use them on your homepage at any time and take them away at any time. Additionally, this is where you would come in if you downloaded any homepages or any page sets from our webpage uh, at mytobydynabox.com. You could see what other SLPs or other family members have created. And if you found something that worked for you as a client or for your loved one, you could come in here and add those page sets as well. But what we're going to do now is we're just going to go into our text communication. We're going to kind of look around and see what other products are available. Over here on the left hand uh, toolbar we can scroll down and see what other things are in our uh, text-based communicator and see if there's something we want to add or remove. Uh, so maybe we wanted to add our dwell free speak keyboard. We could select that click Add to Homepage, and when you get the checkbox in the corner, it means it'll be on your homepage whenever you close. So maybe we wanted to remove email because we're not linked to the internet at this time. So I can click the box and hit Remove from Homepage, and I'll do that with Facebook and Skype, and but I'll leave phone calling and text messaging uh, on there for now. Same with our tools. Maybe we want to turn the alarm on. So we have a way to signal if something goes wrong or we need immediate help. We'll turn the alarm on. But maybe we don't need the music player. So we'll take that off. So as you can see, this is very easy to do. All you're doing is selecting or unselecting what you want to have on the home page. So if I'm all done, I'll hit the X in the corner. And you'll see that it now gives me an updated look of what my home page will look like. And I can scroll to the side and see that the things I added are on the second page. Well. We have a couple other options to talk about as well. So if I'm done and I have everything I want and it's on my home page, there's a few things I still may want to change. Maybe I'm not happy with this background color, this darker blue. Maybe it's hard for me to see or hard for me to differentiate between some of the buttons. What I can do is I can change that background color and I can make it any of these available colors at any time. And if you want to go back to the beginning uh, and just have the standard default color, you will see that this color here is marked as default. So we can put it back to our, our initial settings. One of the other things that's great is we can change the home page grid size. So this is really helpful if we're having access issues, uh, either we're having trouble hitting a smaller button or uh, we are having trouble with eye gaze and we're making misselections or we're hitting misselections. What we can do is we can change the grid size. So we can go as large as two by two, which makes the buttons very large, and then you'd have to cycle through each one, all the way down to 12 by nine, which is extremely tiny buttons. Uh, and as you can see, I would, that would leave me with a lot of open screen on my homepage. So most people that I've worked with are somewhere between five by three and seven by five if they're not using a key guard. So we're just gonna stick with six by four. We'll take a look at that. That looks appropriate. Uh, so the last thing we want to talk about is how to manage our page set. So we added these two functions uh, in the add page set, 
but we want them to be on the front page and we want them to be in the top row because they're really important to us, especially maybe the alarm. We want to make sure we have really good access to let someone know if we need help. So what we can do is select the alarm and you'll see we get a couple options over here on the side. We can move it to the left, move it to the right, set it as the startup page, or we can remove it from here as well. All we want to do is move it to the left. We're going to continue to walk this to the left. And as you can see, I can walk it all the way up. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it right next to my speak button. Because the two most common things right now I'm going to say are speaking and being able to get attention or letting someone know that I need help. Uh, now, if we feel like this might be too close uh, and we don't want to misselect it, maybe we put it over a couple steps. Either way, it's personal preference and the system allows you the flexibility to move uh, whatever icons you want around the screen. We'll also do that for dwell speak. And we'll put dwell speak maybe up in the corner as well. Okay, so if we're happy with our changes, we'll hit the X and make sure we're on our main homepage. And now as you can see, we've removed a lot of things, we've added a few things, we've moved them around, and I've showed you how to change the background color uh, to something that might be more appropriate for you or for your loved one. So please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks, and have a great day.